assalamu alaikum guys i am ganfar and today we will discuss about the resolution of the racemic mixture last time we discussed about the racemic mixture and the racemization and we said racemic mixture is equimolar mixture of two optically active pure enantiomer in this video we discuss how we separate the racemate into its pure optically active enantiomer so first of all we see what is racemization resolution resolution is the separation of separation of racemic mixture separation of racemic mixture into optically active optically active pure enantiomer this phenomena is called resolution as we know that enantiomers have same physical and chemical properties like melting point boiling point density and solubility so we cannot separate the enantiomers by fractional distillation or by fractional crystallization technique because it is on the basis of separation is on the basis of their solubility and in fractional distillation the separation is on the basis of their boiling points as in enantiomers have same melting melting points boiling points and solubilities so they cannot be separated directly by these techniques so following methods are used to separate the racemic mixture into its pure enantiomer first is the chemical separation mechanical separation biochemical separation kinetic method and selective adsorption or chiral chromatography so these are all the techniques that we use for separate the racemate into their pure enantiomer so first of all we discuss chemical separation and it is considered the best technique for the resolution chemical separation in chemical separation the racemic mixture is treated with active esters or bases then a mixture of diastereomers are formed mixture of diastereomers are formed that are separated mixture of diastereomers are formed that are separated by using fractional crystallization technique the diastereomers are separated the separated diastereomers separated diastereomers on acidic or basic hydrolysis give pure optically active enantiomer so first of all we see if we have a racemic mixture of levoacid and dextroacid then we treat the leave acid or dextro acid with dextro base then we will get a mixture of diastereomers l acid d base plus d acid l base this is a mixture of diastereomers then we do fractional crystallization 
to convert the mixture of diastereomers into separated diastereomers. Elicid D base D acid and D base. The separated diastereomers upon acidic hydrolysis yield our pure enantiomer D acid L acid. This is the case number one. Next, if we use Levo base, then we have a mixture of diastereomers of L acid, L base, D acid. Sorry, last time you have D acid and D base, Anatab, L, D acid and L base. Then we do fractional crystallization, then we have L acid. L base, D acid, L base. Then we do acidic hydrolysis and we get the our pure enantiomers. This is the case number two. Then we discuss case number three when we have bases, a mixture of bases. When we have an acidic mixture of bases. L acid, sorry, basis. L base and D base. Then we separate this racemic mixture and treat it with dextro acid. Then we have a mixture of diastereomers, L base, D acid plus D acid and D base. Then we do fractional crystallization to convert the mixture of diastereomers into separated diastereomers. D L base, D acid is our one diastereomer, D acid and D base is our second diastereomer. Then we do basic hydrolysis. When we do basic hydrolysis, we get L base plus D base. That is our pure enantiomer. This is our case number three. At the end, we discuss case number four. Case number four when we use levo acid. When we use levo acid, here we have L base, L acid, D base, L acid. Here we have L base, L acid, L acid, D base. Then we do basic hydrolysis and we get the pure enantiomer. This is the best technique for converting the racemic mixture into its pure enantiomer. Next is the mechanical separation. Mechanical separation. Mechanical separation, it is only for the solid substances, only for solid substances which form well defined crystals. The pair of enantiomer have different 
different crystal shapes have different crystal shapes so we separate the enantiomers on the basis of their different crystal shapes by using magnifying by using magnifying glass or magnifying lenses this is called mechanical separation